our correspondent Ria Gurd Nicolescu is in the Ethiopian capital. This comes as raids uh, targeting um, residents of Tigrayan origin have seen a surge in the capital uh, during the past days, rights organizations as well as the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission have uh, condemned these practices, which have been observed since the beginning of the conflict in uh, Tigray one year ago. Uh, but there's been an increase in such arbitrary arrests as well as house uh, searches targeting uh, residents from Tigray uh, since the nationwide state of emergency was declared early last week. A few weeks ago, we've had several top UN officials uh, expelled uh, expelled from, uh, from Addis Ababa. They're being accused by the Ethiopian government of providing uh, support uh, to Tigrayan forces uh, in the Tigray region. Uh, they were uh, very vocal, or at least the UN generally has been very vocal about a humanitarian blockade uh, imposed on the Tigray region for several uh, months now. Uh, and uh, there's only a very limited amount of food, of medicine, uh, and other essential supplies actually entering uh, the, the Tigray region. Uh, there's about 400,000 people uh, facing famine in the region. And uh, so this, the situation has been quite tense uh, in, in recent weeks between uh, the United Nations and the Ethiopian government as the situation in the country continues uh, to escalate. And with that, also the humanitarian situation for civilians on the ground.